All right, and we're back. We are back. So um, I kind of wanted to go over a few differences of some of the bases I've got. Um, and uh, I kind of messed around a little bit with my new base, which is this uh, SRMS 800. Uh, but just wanted to show you comparison against the SR500 uh, and the SR305, which is a, a five string with the CRP pickups instead of the Barlini um, pickups. So, um, yeah, uh, so I don't have my practice amp over here. It's over at the studio. So um, I'm actually probably gonna take the new base over there and kind of mess with it a little bit. And maybe, maybe even take my uh, my trusty SR500. So I've had this one for a long, long time, and uh, it's been a really, really good base. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I, I actually put some thicker gauge strings on it, and it's had a had a pretty good amount of um, uh, tone from it from that, because I do do uh, drop tuning for. Um, band up in tragic and uh, yeah um, so with this one it's uh, the same amount of frets and everything same uh, bar leaning pickups these are the NK1s or those are the um, couldn't even tell you right now BH DH2s, I want to say, yeah, DH2 pickups. Um, I have to go back there and look at the specs on those, but Barlini makes some really great, outstanding pickups for bases. Um, yeah, pretty much all your high end bases have got them. And, and this is, uh, I would say, kind of Ibanez's mid range base um, that's been out forever. I bought this from uh, Guitar Center a long time ago uh, from a good friend of mine. And, and, uh, yeah, played many a shows with this bass, and I've always kind of chosen it over the five string, just because the five string is just, um, you know, this is considered Ibanez's lower line. I mean, it's still a fantastic bass. Um, the SR 305 is still still a great bass. If it had the Barlini pickups in it, I would say it'd probably be uh, an even better bass. But just the feeling of a five string and a four string is just such a such a wider neck on it, so it's harder to do what you need to do on it. Um, for me, anyway, uh, I'm not the, the the best bass player in the world, so string spacing is a thing. Um, so the spacing on these strings is is closer together uh, than these four string bases, and especially like doing slap and pop like down here, like I just can't. Can't get to it as well as quick as I can for these four string bases. Um, going to the the new one. This one actually has um, adjustments on the bridge down here to where you can actually um, change the string spacing. So if you want to space these further apart, you can, or closer together, you can. So that might be a neat thing to kind of. Um, play around with just to get a little bit more string spacing. I have noticed that so far playing it, I'm not the best um, slap bass player, but um, see, I'm, I'm still learning how to, how to pop without digging my nails too far down into the string. Yeah, I found myself hitting this, um, this little uh, relief here, this little the wood part right there. That's the uh, belt part of the neck. And I actually have thrust rod adjustments right in there too. So it's nice that they made it to where you can adjust it easily on the fly. Like it's just right there. You don't have to take um, the covers off like you do up there on those two to, to make your adjustments. Um, but I have noticed that like trying to pop my fingernails are hitting right there, which is actually a sign that I'm, that I'm digging too deep on the strings but I'm still trying to learn how to finesse myself. So it's like, uh -oh. so like I'm constantly kind of coming up and hitting there. And, and usually like if I do any like slap and pop or, you know, slap bass, I'm, I'm, I'm hitting it right here, like right at the end of the fretboard. 
Um, so that, that might, I don't know. It's not entirely flush there. So it makes it a little difficult. But we'll see. And I don't know if it's like an inconsistency of manufacturing or if that's just kind of how, how it was set up. Because I mean, it's not, I mean, one, it's a little, it's more flush over here than it is up here. Um, and just being perfectly honest, I haven't played any other, um, I'm as bases that have this neck style now with the, with the thrust rod adjustment being down here. Um, it's just my first one. So I don't know if like, I don't have any other ones to compare against, I should say. Um, but overall, I mean, I like the feel of the base, um, weight wise, um, it feels about the same as my SR500. Um, I don't know what the official specs are, but it feels, it feels pretty much the same. Everything about them is pretty much the same, to be honest. Um, looks like the cutouts is a little bit uh, deeper here, so it makes it easier to hit that last. I have last note, I'm not much of a, a bass soloist, but you know, it is nice that you know you can get down there with ease and be able to hit that last that, that, that last note there. So um, so far, like I, like I said, I love the feel of that. I haven't actually been able to plug it into anything and play anything yet. Um, but and I thought I would have issues, you know, with it being fan fret, like with the with the string spacing, but in figured it would feel unnatural, but it doesn't actually feels, I mean, it, I don't know. It doesn't really feel any different. I, okay, so honestly I feel, and, I, and I've only been playing this for a few minutes, but I feel like it feels more unnatural to go to a normal bass. Um, and look, this is just my opinion, but you know, I, I can go from playing from playing this one. And then going to playing this one. And now this one feels this one feels unnatural, even though this is like the you know, started bases like it's you know just normal frets. I don't know. I don't know. as far as the normal um, fret spacing. Um, I don't know why. I mean, I've, like, seriously, I've only played this for, for like a few minutes, you know, if that. Um, yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's wild. Oops. All right, trying to put the dings on my new base. got thicker strings on it than what, um, what this um, SRMS 800 um, came with. So I'm going to have to switch these out and put some thicker strings on them. Yeah, because these are tuned. Oh, both of these are tuned out to C. Like.
but even with the lighter string on it, I feel like it's got more more tension on it than than these heavier gauge um, strings for this uh, for the SR five hundred. And it really, it's just because it's a it's a longer string that's being stretched tighter to make those to make those notes because of the way the fret spacing goes on it. So, but yeah, so I just wanted to kind of show like a quick um, quick ish video, uh, a little bit of a comparison between the two bases. And my five string, I know my five string is feeling left out back there, but. Um, maybe someday I'll put some some better pickups in it and some better electronics and and go from there. It's not saying it's a bad bass because it's a it's a it's a great bass. Um, you just don't have the definition as you do out of these uh, Bartolini pickups on on the five hundred and the eight hundred. And they also make the eight hundred in a um, in a non fan fret configuration. Um, I just really wanted to try the fan fret and see what it, what it feels like and, and uh, what, what it plays like. And so far, like I said, it feels weird going back to straight up and down frets. Like it feels more natural to me to have that fan, fan fret. Um, for whatever reason, you go to like the normal, you know, that was a tune. Tune more normal, but it just, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just love music, guys. Love music, love playing bass, um, love playing guitar. Just, yeah. Yeah. All right, so this is gonna close it out. So, um, Hopefully the next video I make I'll be able to show more of what uh, what these bases sound like. And I'm sorry I don't have a practice amp over here at my at my house, but um, probably go up to the studio here in a little bit. We do have practice tomorrow night. We may do some Facebook Live tomorrow night, um, so you guys might be able to to uh, to tune in and, and listen to us jam a little bit. And I think we're gonna work on a little bit more recording. So but anyway, hope you guys have a great night. Peace.